Don't fucking kill him. Don't fucking kill him. Don't fucking Don't fucking do that to me, man. Kill Spencer, not this guy. Uh, he ain't dead. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's gonna come up. Okay, okay. Okay, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Why is he so creepy? Like, he's cool, right? But he's creepy. If Abraham was alive, we could fight. If Glenn was? Maggie's kid would have a father? She'll find somebody else, probably. Michelle and Carl can fight. They have Rick. Aaron has Eric. Eugene knows things. <laughs> Daryl Strong. That's classified. What about Sasha? You have me, Rosita. You have me. Me. You're not alone. Never Look alone. at me, Rosita. Look at me, Rosita. Me amor. It shouldn't have been you. It's not your fault. It shouldn't have been anyone. It's not your fault, Will. It's not your fault. We'll win. Not will win. But we need to wait for the right moment. Or create it. Together. And you're a part of that together. Just like Jackie Chan from the, the remake, the uh, Karate Kid, huh? Oh, Spencer, you 
may just be my new best friend. <laughs> Such a nice day, though. Too nice to be cooped up inside some garage, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a better idea. up, Spencer. All right. Talk to me, Spencer. Talk to me about... Hey! Yo, stop! Stop it! I get what you're trying to do here. What you're trying to build. I'm not saying I agree with your methods, but I get it. You're building a network. You're making people contribute for the greater good. It makes sense. You should know that Rick Grimes has a history of not working well with others. Is that so? Rick wasn't the original leader here. My mom was. She was doing a really good job of it. She died not long after Rick showed up. Same with my brother, same with my dad. So everything was peachy here for what? Years? And then Rick shows up and suddenly you're an orphan. That is the saddest story I've ever heard. Good thing for you, he's not in charge anymore. It doesn't matter. His ego's out of control. He'll find a way to screw things up. To try and do things his way to take over. That's what he did with my mom. Exactly, are you proposing to be done about that? I am my mother's son. I can be the leader she was. That's what this place needs. That's what you need. So I should put you in charge. That's what you're saying. You'd be much better off. Is that what's gonna happen? 
the guy who waited for Rick to be gone so he could sneak over and talk to me and get me to do his dirty work so he could take Rick's place. So I gotta ask, if you want to take over, why not just kill Rick yourself and just take over? What? No, no, I didn't, I don't. You know what I'm thinking? Because I have a guess. It's because you got no guts. finish the game? Come on. Anybody? Anybody? Come on. Who's winning? There's an ocean filled with creatures. Daddy, how big is a blue whale? If Rosita dies, if Rosita dies, if Rosita dies, mind you, she's not the best character in the world, she's a side character, if she dies, whatever, right? But if she dies, for that stupid reason, for a stupid Stupid reason. What happens if that bullet, you know, I'm just saying, hypothetically, if you shoot a gun, one bullet of it jams. I just, I mean, oh my god, you, she better not be dead. It better not be that cliche, oh, it's the sound of a bullet, it's supposed to be her bullet, but it's actually somebody shooting her. Watch her miss, or watch her shoot him, like, in the shoulder or something. Shit! What the shit? Shit! You just, you trying to kill me? You shot Lucille! She got in the way. Oh, it's 
Glenn? Or is it Jesus? Sasha! Amy! Watching them? Someone's watching, Father. It's either Heath. It's one of the whispers. Dwight? Well, everyone, that was the mid-season finale for The Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 8, titled Heart Still Beating. Uh, let me tell you this, man. I really enjoyed it. The second half was the best. The last 25 minutes, the last 30 minutes were the best. The first half, uh, it's slow. It's a build-up, and it made sense all near the end. Like, the Michonne stuff was slow. Not saying it's not interesting. It is interesting. It was just Daryl took forever to get out of there, and then all of a sudden Jesus is there, which we knew he was at the kingdom, but or at the sanctuary, but how long was Jesus waiting there? How long was he really there for? Um, 
Carol and Morgan stuff were slow. That that was probably the slowest out of the end. You know, again, like I said, build up, but for, really for that, that's just teasing all that war, basically. But they kind of dragged on that scene for a while. That scene kind of, like, because it's so obvious Carol was going to be like, nah, nah, so let's hurry up, just say no, and then that's it, move on to the next scene. Uh, you're so predictable. So that was going on. Uh, and then they didn't show Ezekiel this episode. He didn't show up one time during this episode either, so that kind of sucked there. We didn't really get to see the kingdom either. Uh, I don't know who that mysterious person in the figure is. It could be Dwight. Could be Heath. Could be Simon. Doubt it would be. It could be... The Whispers. It could be Morales from season one. I don't know. It could be, or it could be an original character. It has to be one of those people that I mentioned. Uh, I think it's the Whispers, but probably it's Dwight or Heath. Um, but it was a really, the, the last shot, you saw it, man. I was going crazy. Last 25 minutes was the best. I really had a fun time watching this. Uh, I, I think there were unnecessary deaths. Like, the Spencer death made sense. But the whole... And somebody had to die for, for what Rosita did. But I think it was very unnecessary to kill Olivia. And I'm saying the way that it was done, it should have been done with Lucille than with a gun. It just felt so, like... Oh, she's dead. Like, it would have been more brutal if... You, it should have been done by Lucille, not by a gun. That's how it felt. Anyway, uh, really good. Really, 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 really good, man. I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, the cast did amazing. Congrats on the first half of Season 7, guys. Congrats. I mean, what a great what a great first start, man. This is a really great season so far. Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan be just doing a fantastic job. Uh, I'm having so much fun with this. I uh, can't wait for the second half. There's a lot of people complaining. Probably the worst episode out of the, seven, the eight episodes was the Terra one. And then the Maggie one. Other than that, all the other ones have been really good or great. And then I'm uh, we're getting ready for uh, the next, you know, the next few, man. Eight more episodes in February, March, and then it'll end probably in April or in the beginning of May. But uh, we got eight episodes left. I mean, they're already done filming the season, so they're they're done with that. That's 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 done for. Uh, but probably in May. May or the month before that is when they start filming season 8 or March uh, so they got a few months off to rest they need to rest up for a little bit but they'll get back to it very soon anyway I'll be back in February when The Walking Dead returns for more episode reactions if you enjoyed my reactions and all my past reactions make sure to hit that subscribe button like this video comment down below tell me your uh, favorite parts of the reaction and share with your friends don't forget I review The Walking Dead as well. Link in the description down below for this specific episode. What you guys want is my pros and cons and final score for that. It'll be there. Till next time. Thanks again for everyone who's been watching over the weeks, man. Hopefully you enjoyed. I do other episode reactions. I still had to do the last four for Fear of the Walking Dead. And uh, most likely I'm going to do a few episode reactions to a few other, a few other shows upcoming. So uh, look out for that. Anyway, till next time, all the Walking Dead fanatics, we're doing pretty good. The show's doing pretty, pretty damn good. Congrats, Robert Kirkman, Greg Nicotero, and all the cast and crew. Uh, don't forget, it got picked up for a season eight already, so it's coming back next year for fall for another season. So, not a big shocker at all, but it's confirmed at least. You know, good, good, then better than waiting. Uh, so until next time, bye bye. Hi. Did not start this war. I offered you peace. I showed you mercy. But now you are here to finish us off for good.